What's up, nerds? Welcome back. Today I'm talking about I am not... Sorry. I am Batman, number one. Alright, so let's kind of just get into what we have here, because I mean, obviously anytime you have to start out a title with some sort of affirmation, whether it be positive or negative, you just, you know you're in for a great story, don't you? So let's just kind of talk about what we actually have here, because but what we basically have is them trying to write Jace Fox as new Batman literally like he's literally being written the same way that Bruce Wayne would be talking here about like this this is the mask that I wear and he's in like a business meeting or whatever and he's talking about like this is the face that I have to wear and everything and I'm really only trying to get the respect of my father because that's the only one that actually matters to me it says he's so proud of me the wayward son who's finally embraced the family's legacy his legacy with me as scion of the Fox Tech Empire but dad, as close as he thinks we've become, as much as he thinks I've forgiven him for his past actions, he can't see my truth. Forgiven him for his past actions, alright. So he says, he can't see behind my mask, or that I've appropriated a mask he helped to create. So he comes in, and if you remember, I did not cover the end of um, the next Batman Second Son, because it was such a mess. It was such a rushed mess of a fourth issue where they were literally just trying to tie everything up as quickly as they could to move on to this. And I don't know why, because then I even read I Am Batman number zero, and that wasn't any good either. He found like an armored bat suit, fought with the police. The police, by the way, were written hilariously. And then now we get to this part where he's just like appropriated, I'm assuming will be his bat cave. And then he has Vol make him a new suit out of like where he found the material i'm not entirely certain because what he found seemed to have been just like an empty warehouse that didn't really have materials but apparently it had a lot more material than i thought because he's giving him the rundown of what's going on with the new suit he says the vest is made with a layer of non-newtonian fluid less than one third the thickness of kevlar but still level 3a stopping power the gauntlets are all made of graphene lightweight but 200 times stronger than steel extendable tethered batons are loaded into the underside that part i had to wonder about i was like who what is this daredevil why does he have tethered batons so anyway he says the cowl's faceplate is made with a military grade biohazard filter should help if and when the fear bomb goes off the belt is mostly just filled with burner phones you sure you don't want better tech or literally anything else if it's mostly just burner phones? Like, do you have anything else to help you out with any other situation? So he says, the more tech I have, the easier it is for the magistrate to track me. I mean, depending on what it is, right? Like, if you even just had, like, pepper spray or something, are they going to be tracking that too? I know, I'm being facetious on purpose. Anyway, he says, and I'm planning to be around for a while. So this is where we see him. Like, this is the thing. Like, you literally just told us that this was made for him. So you could have put any symbol on it. It didn't have to literally be looking like exactly like Batman's thing. But apparently this whole thing is we're trying to co-opt Batman's identity. For what reason? Who knows? The only justification we had was from I Am Batman number zero, where he was talking about, you know, um, Bruce Wayne and his father basically created Batman as their own like personal thug and shit like that. So he decided he needs to take over this symbol to be part of it like to take on the system even vol was kind of telling him like it kind of just sounds like you're trying to deal with your daddy issues like you're just mad at your dad so now you're dressing up as batman to get back at him because he helped make batman what he was so i mean that's that's the only justification we've been given that he wants to take on a system and he wants to do it as batman not because he has any particular connection to batman not because he finds Batman all that inspirational. As a matter of fact, like I said, he basically thought of him as like a personal thug to his dad and Bruce Wayne. So why he wants to just take that, I don't know. I mean, it's the weirdest thing, but apparently that's what he wants to do. Again, he has no real reason to be that connected to Batman, but apparently he's going to take on the whole persona. So he says, wait, uh, Vol's asking, wait, what about those other toys? He says, batterings, a grappling gun, for real. Do I know how to use a grappling gun? Do you think maybe you should have learned before putting on the suit? I'm just saying, Batman had a grappling gun. He says, and Batman had a big-ass car and a flying thing. But had any... Yeah, it was called Batwing, which is also the name that your brother goes by. 
But had any regular people actually seen him in maybe six years? Batman's dead, and it's like he never even existed. Now Sears using fear to control the city, spreading conspiracy theories about the government's hidden agenda. You're getting pretty heavy-handed here. People need something, someone, to believe in. I can't chase what Batman was. I have to become what he needed to be. Real. Not just something in the distance and darkness. He was real. Like, he was an actual living, breathing person who interacted with actual criminals. What do you mean he wasn't real? Anyway, and when it comes to the f comes time to fight, I've got to do it the way Tatsu and Vesey trained me. Up close and man to man. So, he takes off in his bike and everything to go look for crime i guess so then we cut over to this thing with the cops if you remember there are these, these two cops who they haven't really given us any particular reason to care about but anyway they're still doing this whole thing where they're kind of like she's not particularly soft on masks she's very much just like you know what if the if my orders are to arrest them then i'm going to do that he was the one who was like well but they've always helped us out so he was the one who ended up letting who was it luke i think he let luke go instead of shooting him when he was supposed to so because of that, they've kind of like now, because he told her about it, and then she even got questioned by Montoya about like, what happened with all of that? Do you think that he'll like turn or whatever? So she's like, no, but I'll keep eyes on him. So that's basically where we're still going with this. Anyway, so they take off to go do their thing, because why? It says, now we're just part of the, yeah, she's talking about how everybody hates the cops and everything, how they lo forgot that they're part of the community. Again, heavy handed. Yeah, there's that, and Scarecrow's going to attack, and the water's poison. Fear's everywhere. She says, Sears everywhere. And he says, can't, can't tell you things are going to get better. What I can tell you, watch my back, I'll watch yours. So then we get... <laughs> this part was so stupid. So then we get in this thing where these kids are like tagging up a building. So he comes up on his bike that now looks like a little scooter. So he just like rolls... And he's like, hey, sick tag no he's like for real sick tags but respect other people's property see if you can find someplace else to throw those up and they're like fuck thought batman was dead and he just literally like Zzzz. so he comes up sees them tagging he's like hey you shouldn't do that that doesn't belong to you okay have a good night Zzzz. like what the fuck <laughs> anyway and then he, they even, like, add insult to injury by doing this thing where it says that he looked in the rearview mirror and saw that they went ahead and just kept on tagging. So he's like, well, gotta start somewhere. Anyway, so he says, I ride on through the city. I look up at the buildings and spire. You have to start somewhere? You didn't do anything. Anyway, so I look up at the buildings and spires. Obelisks got them. Moneyed up used to mark their mo their moment on the human timeline. I cocked that up so bad. I look up at the buildings and spires. Obelisks Gotham's moneyed up used to mark their moment on the human timeline. There we go. It's just very, like, poorly constructed sentence work there. I wonder how many months, how many years Batman spent mapping every inch of those towers to make them his battleground. But you fight a war in the sky, you miss the struggles on the ground. You miss what you actually want us to look at, which is the homeless people. That's why the captions are put right there, where it's literally drawing a line through them. So for your eye to read this next caption, you literally have to look directly at the homeless people. And there's a reason for that, because apparently one of the homeless wanders out in the street. Well, he didn't wander out in the street, he's on the crosswalk. But anyway, this guy comes around, he whips his ride around, because he's out there joyriding, going really fast. In the middle of like a busy area i don't really know is that a thing that happens i know that there are still like places where they street race but usually the streets are pretty dead by the time they do that unless it's the people who are there to literally watch this whole thing where it's just like random people out on like a six o'clock in the afternoon i don't really know that that happens all that often but then again who knows it's gotham so he says no people stop giving a shit about the law they stop giving a shit about who gets hurt they just stop giving a shit anyway so he manages to like save the uh the homeless guy and everything and then he decides to go after the the guy in the car i don't know what type of bike he has because i mean he was saying earlier he doesn't have all of the like fancy stuff that batman has but i guess his bike is fat well we don't really know what kind of car this is either either way he takes off after him and he's like um rage bitterness a desire for punishment i feel it for the driver of the car maybe or maybe i just feel it toward myself who does the driver remind me of can't tell if this guy is drunk, high, or just an asshole. He says, truth is, doesn't matter. So this is where he uses the, the batons. He uses it to, like, bust the windshield. I mean, your gloves are harder than steel. You could have just punched it, too. <laughs> anyway, so he does that. 
And then, okay, I guess that was the other reason. Because, I mean, you can't see it all that well. But all right over here, like the baton goes into the steering wheel. And I guess it caused it to jam. Even though there's like a pretty big wide opening. I don't know how, how it's put in there that it stopped it. Anyway, so he does that and almost kills the guy by causing the car to like flip and everything. And then he comes out. He's like, are you crazy? And he's like, he tries to swing at him. And he's like, not on your best day. And then he does this thing where he like, Pulls him up and he's like, look, I get it. Or what? Hey, I'm not trying to put a beat down on you. Not if I don't have to. Oh, magnanimous. Anyway, he says, see all these people collecting evidence on your ass? One time. Be smart. Turn yourself in. Before these folks cancel you for real. Cancel you for real. Turn yourself in. Or they'll cancel you for real. These are the threats that Batman makes now. You remember when Batman used to catch criminals and then he would go up to a skyscraper and hang them upside down by a wire until they, you know, he decided he was bored and then he went and like left them at the police station or something? Or when he would literally tie them up, put them in the trunk of the Batmobile and then take them to the police? No, not this time. What we're doing is we're having the new Batman threaten to have, well, he doesn't even threaten to make it happen. He's just saying, go turn yourself in or they're going to cancel you. I'm pretty sure they're going to upload these videos anyway. So that's going to happen regardless. So just ridiculous, stupid shit. Anyway, so we go back over to the cops and they hear about like an interaction with, you know, the mask, which was Batman. Well, I guess we're supposed to call him Batman since that's the name of the book. But anyway, he was the one who was out there. So they're like, all right, yeah, let's go out there and like try and find him. Because if we don't get to him before the magistrate, it's probably going to be pretty bad for him. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then we got this part he says alley town i'm welcomed by the low boom of shots fired automatic weapons yeah if i want to get to making a legend for myself this is the place to start these guys moral authority armed self-appointed urban soldiers they buy into sears conspiracies and are at war with the government and they came armed to go the distance <laughs> You can already guess what they look like, right? Did you guess white skinheads? Ding, 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 ding. You got it. <laughs> and so to contrast what we have going on here, as you saw with the guy who was joyriding, who he said he felt all this just like burning desire to go and put punishment on him. And then he just says, go turn yourself in or all of these people are going to post videos of you and you'll be canceled. But these guys, he's like, oh, okay, y'all are shooting at the cops? Bet. Let's do it. So he comes in. He's like, I'm going to have to balance things some. So he comes in and then they're like, a mask, kill or kill it. So I guess they didn't want to misgender him. So they just went with it. And so he comes in and grabs him by the face and throws him into a car. And it actually kind of looks like the same car from earlier, even though there's no way that's possible. But anyway, the other one comes up and he's just keeps blasting and shit. So he comes in, takes him down too. And this is the other thing, too. He was, like, telling him that he used to be a soldier, too. The white guy said he used to be a soldier, too, which, of course, right? So, of course, we get this shot where he comes in again with the batons, and then he, like, beats him down and all that shit. Like I said, this time he was actually willing to actually beat them down, even though we don't see that they actually killed cops. He could have just come in and disarmed them, tied them up, left them for the police who were there. But no, instead, he was like, I'm going to go ahead and beat the hell out of them, while the cops, who were probably you know, told to shoot on sight or right behind me. So he comes in, does the whole thing. And then we find out the cops are actually nice guys. They're like, oh yeah, you know, you should probably leave before the others show up because not everybody is as friendly to people like you. So he tells them, oh yeah, go ahead and send a message to all your people. He says, let them know I'm not a myth. I'm real. I'm fighting for what's right. And again, people already knew about Batman. Like there were cops who encountered the actual Batman. So, I mean, this whole idea that you have to tell them that you're not a myth. Granted, I realize that they, they're doing this whole thing that Batman's been dead for six years. Okay, but that's still not long enough for anybody to forget that he was a real person. <laughs> anyway, so he says, as long as they are too, then they've got a new partner. And any of them who aren't, let them know they've got a new problem. And that's where he takes off. So he gets back to his cave or whatever, and he gets in contact with Vol. And he's talking to him, and he says, uh, he asks if he's there. He says, yeah, the magistrate was trying to track our comms, had to switch to a military server. And so this is where he's saying, I've been picking up chatter over a mask sighted in Alleytown. And he says, I was kind of on the visible side, but otherwise saved a life, schooled a few people, maybe built a couple of bridges. Sometimes I think if I can help one person at a time, I can make a difference. 
Then I remember there are 8 million people in this city. One person at a time is not going to cut it. But I feel like tonight I really felt like I was, but he gets cut off by Vol who says, hold that thought. Just on, just got a ping on the guy you wanted me to trace. Vince Farrell. He owns the warehouse where you found those bodies. So he says, then me and Farrell have got business. So he's like, let me go introduce myself. And of course, yes, he is a white guy. Literally every villain that this dude has encountered, other than the, the kid that was joyriding just a minute ago, every other villain he's encountered has been white. And they have gangs of just white dudes. <laughs> it's hilarious. So anyway, he says, what you got, officer? Or the cops are saying, you know, what you got, officer? And he says, reports of shots fired. Got down here, found the body. And they're asking, like, did you call for a bus? And he says, yeah, but he was dead before the EMTs arrived. The magistrate's on their way. And they're like, oh, great. So they're just deciding, you know, let's get whatever evidence we can. You know the magistrate doesn't care a thing about clearing cases. Just shooting masks in the back. So she asks, if the magistrate are the ones who shoot masks in the back, what happened to this poor bastard? So, because as you can see, he was shot in the front so that's where we leave off on that right now and yes that is anarchy down there so <laughs> like i said they killed anarchy they killed anarchy all the villains are white dudes and when it's not a white dude we're gonna tell you to turn yourself in or you'll be canceled and we're taking on batman's persona to fight a system even though we have no connection to batman so i don't know what we were supposed to be doing here but the book says i am batman right and the cover looks cool so <laughs> there's that i <laughs> i don't know what else to say i i have nothing else to say like this is just terrible this is just terrible and i mean the fact that you had to go from the next batman to this and try to make all of this work and it doesn't work at all like none of it at all Okay, so he was trained by Tatsu, by Katana, and now he's decided to be Batman because reasons. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I probably won't know because I don't really... The whole anarchy thing that you're, you've killed off anarchy, I don't really... It, it doesn't matter to me that much. Anarchy's a cool character. He could be better. I kind of... Like in the Arkham games, I, I was kind of annoyed when they just made him like a teenager. I was like really did you have to well i don't even think he was a teenager he was like maybe early 20s like a college student but i was like the way they've handled the character for a while now is just kind of like criminal so this whole thing where they're just like they shot him in an alley and he's dead i don't know we'll see if maybe it was like an imposter or there's another one i don't know i, I just i don't know <laughs> i don't know what you want me to say about this well really nobody's expecting me to say anything about it but what i will say for it is that it's just it's goofy all the way around like, the whole thing with the mask. I thought it was, like, an actual, like, metal plate on here or something. But, no, apparently, it just looks like he wraps his mouth in, like, gauze. Like, black gauze or something. So, it's a different kind of choice. Like, look, you can see it right here. Like, when he has the dude, like, close up. he It just looks like he has a cloth mask on his... It's like, again, if y'all are making all of this... I'm assuming the cowl was probably made, too. Because in the last one, all we saw was that he found the robot, like type of armor and he left that behind when he encountered the cops so where he found or made another cowl and then just if you're going like i said if you're going to make it a full face mask why didn't you just make it a full face mask why would you still leave the opening for the mouth and then wrap your face with cloth i don't know so yeah that's all we've got from this but i guess if anybody out there read this um yeah let me know what you think is this your new batman he's not mine but apparently we called the book i am batman and that's what we have from it so yeah if you actually picked it up do feel free to let me know what you think about it down below in the comments and if you enjoyed the video then definitely of course like the video make sure you are subscribed and if you would like go ahead and share out the video as you know that always puts a smile on my face but anyway if you are done here then go and read a book and if not then i'll see you on my next video